From the day that I wrote my first line of code, it took me around five years to become a full-time software engineer and get a job at a big tech company. And this is because I followed the traditional path, which means going to college, perhaps get a master's degree, do some internships along the way, and get a full-time job. But can you become a software engineer way faster? 100%. And this is why I decided to make this video, because I wanted to show you guys which is the best way to become a software engineer, depending on your current situation. I always thought that in order to become a successful software engineer, you had to follow a specific path, that is the traditional path. But the truth is that there's many other ways to get to the exact same place. When I started working at a big tech company, I realized that there were many people who came from very different backgrounds from mine, and some of them didn't even go to college at all. The truth is that there's no one path that fits everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you four ways in which you can become a software engineer, and I will tell you which one you should pick depending on your current situation. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you which I think is the fastest way to becoming a software engineer at the moment. Okay, so I wanna make it as easy as possible for you guys to pick the right path for you. So I'm gonna draw a table. I'm going to evaluate the four paths in three axes. The first axis is going to be the cost. This is how much you're going to be paying if you go down that path. And the second axis is going to be flexibility. Some of you perhaps already have a day job, so you can't spend your whole day studying. Or perhaps you live in a town far from the city, or you travel a lot, so you want to have something that adapts to your lifestyle and that you can do remotely. So we're going to measure that in this axis. Then the third axis is going to be time to market. This is how much time you need to go from zero knowledge to getting a job as a software engineer. Okay, so the first path is gonna be university or college. And I know what you're thinking, college is probably the slowest path to becoming a software engineer, but it's still a great path for some people. In terms of cost, it's probably the most expensive one. It can vary a lot depending on the country, but it usually ranges from a few thousands to hundreds of thousands in countries like the United States. In terms of flexibility, is usually one of the least flexible because most of the times you will need to attend lessons in person and then do your exams on certain dates. So it's not very flexible at all. And the time to market is very slow. It's usually around four to five years, but this could still be the best option for you if you fall into one of the following cases that I'm gonna mention. The first one is if you want to become a professor or work in academia. If you wanna be a researcher, you will have to go to college. There's no other way around it. Another case in which I would personally suggest that you go to university is if you wanna work in a branch of computer science that is very science heavy. For example, artificial intelligence and creating ML models from scratch requires a lot of mathematical knowledge. Or for example, other branches like quantum computing require a lot of knowledge in physics. And so for those cases, even though you could in theory learn those things on your own, I would really advise that you go to college and go to a well-structured program because those are usually a bit tough to learn on your own. You could do it, but I would personally advise you that you go to college if you're in one of those situations. But unless you plan on going into one of these two fields that I just mentioned, I don't think that going to college is that worthy. I mean, if you have the money and the time to spend, I mean, sure, go for it. It's a great opportunity to make friends, connect with people, but you can also do that in many other ways. And what happens when you go to college is that they will give you a lot of generic knowledge. So you'll end up graduating knowing just a little bit of each branch and you won't be actually specialized on a specific thing. And then you'll have to take a master's to become specialized on that particular thing and so on and so forth. I think it can be a big waste of time and money if you want to become a software engineer as fast as possible and you don't fall in one of the categories that I mentioned earlier. Now, if money is currently an issue for you, you can still become a software engineer. Let me just clear that out up front because there might be some people that might have told you, hey, you can't become a software engineer if you don't go to structured program or if you don't pay money for it. I'm here to tell you that's a lie. You can become a software engineer so long as you have a computer and connection to internet. 
which you probably have since you're watching this video. You can learn all the knowledge that you need to become a software engineer on the internet for free, period. You can find so much content on YouTube, for example, to learn how to code. Another way to learn a programming language is to just go to the official documentation of that programming language, which is completely for free, and you can just go through it and learn everything about the methods, the functions, how it works, what is the syntax. You can learn all of that for free on the internet. It's also very flexible because it's self-paced so you can learn whenever you want and you can really make it fit your personal schedule. However, it does come with a caveat which is the time to market. I can almost guarantee that it will take you a long time. The thing about learning on your own is that you don't know what you don't know. So first need to figure out what's actually relevant and important for you to study before you actually get into studying. Probably would be the case that you will invest a lot of time on things that aren't as important just because you don't have specific guidelines on what you should be studying. Especially in a field like software engineering, there's so many sub-branches and things that you can learn so you can easily spend a lot of time on things that aren't actually valuable for you to learn as a software engineer. And you may end up learning about some obscure thing that doesn't really matter that much. But that's why I think it's very much time consuming. So if you don't have much money and have plenty of time, then go for it. This is a great option for you. But if you're looking to become a software engineer in the shortest time possible, then you might want to consider joining a bootcamp. Generally speaking, I consider bootcamps to be one of the best ways to becoming a software engineer because they're usually very intensive learning experiences and they're really optimizing time to market. So you can get in a matter of few months, usually six months on average, you will be able to get a job as a software engineer. And they're usually very focused on technologies that are highly on demand in the tech industry. And they also help you build a portfolio of work. They also help you build connections with companies, which is really helpful to land your first job as a software engineer. However, there is one caveat with this option as well. In most cases, bootcamps are run in big cities, which makes it really inaccessible for most people because you will need to move to those big cities for a long period of time, around six months. And during that time, you're usually expected to be very, very focused on working on the bootcamp, which means that it's really hard to manage it alongside other obligations like a full-time job, for example. So I would say it's not very flexible at all. Also, something that I hear a lot is that many people would love to join a bootcamp, but they just can't afford to spend thousands of dollars on a bootcamp. The average cost of a bootcamp is around $10,000. And I know for myself that it would have been very difficult to pay that amount of money years ago. So I wanted to provide you with a reasonable option that most of you will be able to afford. And this takes me to the last path, which are online courses. Out of all the options that I've shared in this video, I think this will be the best option for most of you guys. And at the end of the video, I'm also gonna share a personal recommendation of a course that you don't have to search around too much. But yeah, let's get into the cost. The cost of a course usually varies from $100 to a few hundred dollars, which makes it way more affordable than the option of joining a bootcamp or going to college. It is also very flexible because you can do it from your home, you don't need to move to a big city in order to do it. You have other responsibilities like a full-time job or taking care of your kids. This is the perfect option for you because you'll be able to do this part-time and adapt it to your current schedule. In terms of speed, it can be as fast as you'd like because it's self-paced, so you can take the course as lightly as you want or you can go all in and do it in three months. However, I do want to make a note there. My advice is that you carefully choose the course because there's many course platforms out there that will sell you a course on a very specific thing, like a specific programming language, and they will teach you everything about that one thing, but then you will need to take multiple courses in order to acquire all the knowledge that you need in order to become a software engineer. So yeah, pay attention to that because sometimes there will be courses that are huge time wasters or that they would expand a lot on things that aren't actually useful. And those courses can be a big waste of your time and money at the end of the day. So for this reason, my personal advice is that you ask a software engineer. If you have any software engineer friends that can advise you on that, they can recommend you a course, just go for it. And if you want, I can also give you my personal advice as a friend. 
I would tell you which course I would personally pick. After being a software engineer at a big tech company for almost four years now, I've done quite a lot of research, not gonna lie. There's not many courses that are so self-contained that would teach you everything you need to know from zero to landing your first job. So it was quite hard to find a course like that. But the best one that I've seen so far is the software development course by Course Careers. It takes around three to nine months to complete. And the cool thing is that it not only teaches you the technical stuff which is obviously the most important but it also teaches you how to land your first job by teaching you how to format your resume your LinkedIn profile how to search for jobs and most importantly they have a full section on data structures and algorithms which is quite literally the most important thing that you need to know in order to pass the coding interviews especially for big tech companies and ironically most courses don't include this which makes it harder to land a job in one of these top companies. And in fact, for folks based in the US or Canada, if you take the software development course by Course Careers, there's a network of companies ready to hire the top students, which I think is pretty cool, if you ask me. <laughs> and the way that the course is structured is in two parts. There is the fundamentals course that would teach you all the basics of programming. And then you'll have to pick a specialization course. It can be on front-end, back-end, or DevOps. And the specialization is included in the same price, so you don't have to pay extra money for it. Of course, it includes quizzes, practice questions and a final exam that gives you an accurate evaluation on whether you're actually career ready or not. They also provide you coaching along the way, they review your code, they give you feedback on it, so they really guide you throughout your journey and there's even a discord server where you can ask random questions and connect with other students so you can also get that networking part and what's really cool is that this course actually starts with a completely free module so check out the link in the description down below to watch the first module completely for free and i'm pretty sure that you will get a ton of value from it even if you don't actually end up buying the course and i think that's it for this video this is actually the first out of a series of three videos on how to become a software engineer so if you don't want to miss out on the new videos make sure you subscribe to the channel i really hope this video was useful if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section down below and i will do my best to reply to all of them and as always thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one.